Hey YouTube, so this is going to be a bit off the cuff and hopefully we have enough light behind the camera on this very stormy day, or pre-stormy day I guess, um, for you to be able to see me. But um, I was writing a few YouTube comments this weekend and I realized something that I want to do and then I realized an absolute terror inside myself about it and a kind of discomfort and um, as those of us who do tarot and spiritual practice probably know that often it's a discomfort is a clue that you're onto something important um, and that maybe you should do the thing. Um, but it's scary though, right? It's scary. So um, the thing I'm afraid of, um, I had this thought that maybe, I don't use oracle cards that much and also um, I just haven't been pulling cards that much, period. And my tendency with pulling cards, I did a daily draw for my first year of tarot, but in, after that, like my tendency is pulling them for certain times or events, or if there's like a really obvious question in my life. But often I don't have a lot of questions or, or things that would pop, pop into mind. So it's less like I need guidance, so I turn to tarot and it's more, I would like to read the tarot, so what kind of tarot reading can I do? So it's usually either like it's for a certain moon or a season or I see a particular spread or I'm just like I really want to read tarot so let me find a spread and like pick one and read for that spread. So that's my current practice and my current practice is also as you know if you've been watching this channel for a while uh, writing everything down. I have a spreadsheet, record things, I also like to analyze them and yeah, it's a general thing with me. I like I like structure, I like recording, I like analysis. Sometimes I have a fear of like, if I don't record it, did it happen? <laughs> um, and so I had this idea to pull a tarot card daily. I realized part of the, or an oral card, I realized part of the challenge that I was feeling was like to reading more is that it's kind of a, not a production, but like, I mean, I have a very stripped down practice, but I do always want to like pull up my computer, write, type up an interpretation, um, write it down, uh, sometimes take a picture. And that act of recording is like a small barrier that means sometimes I don't pull out the cards. So and definitely with a daily, like particularly if it's like morning, you know, reach over as I wake up and like grab a card, I'm not ready to like write it down. I'm not ready to sit up and type. Um, so I thought to myself, hmm, I'm definitely like feeling a lot of resistance around, like I kind of want to try it. And I'm also really scared and I haven't started yet because what if there's patterns and I won't know them and my memory is not great. So it's like ties in with disability, like memory and brain fog being like, well, but if I pull cards for the day and then I forget about them an hour later, or even if I remember them during the day, but like I don't remember previous cards, like what if there's some really important message that's happening in patterns and maybe I'm always pulling the same thing, but I don't know, or I know, okay, very chill. But, um, and I think like, I mean, I've seen this in other ways, like I've been thinking, oh, I need to really like go back to Instagram and like, um, find previous um, like challenges that I've done and make sure I write those down in case anything ever happens to Instagram because I, I don't necessarily write down polls if they're part of an Instagram challenge. Um, I was thinking like, oh, I need to like search for my name in like Facebook threads for courses because I might have said things about cards that I forget. Maybe I had a revelation and now I don't remember it so I need to write it down. Um, I just, I really like to analyze things. I like to understand things. Um, I like to find patterns, which I feel like I can't do without a record. Um, like I once had a boss who said that I was the most self-aware person that she had ever met, which I took as a huge compliment and I love, and it's like a badge of honor that I am super self-aware. But like the way that I'm self-aware is by doing a lot of analysis and recording and using structures like personality typing and like, you know, it's very, very structured like that. Um, in a way it's almost like I'm very emperor and like how can I be more high priestess in the sense of you can also be self-aware intuitively 
and presumably if you're intuitive if you know something intuitively like i think i think people who are more intuition focused would say well if you are constantly pulling the same thing or you're pulling a similar pattern you will feel it in some way or you will like know um or like the cards will sit with you more if they're important and you don't have to write them down so i'd like to explore that i'd like to try this i'm not gonna start tomorrow I'm still too scared <laughs> <laughs> I sound ridiculous, I realize this, but, um, so I'm curious if others have thoughts on this, like, whether you are an intuitive reader, if, like, can you reassure me in some way, um, if you don't write things down, is it alright, is it gonna be alright, or if you are like me, um, like, have you tried doing stuff without recording, how did it go, have you not, if not, why, we will go on this journey together, I don't know, um, but yeah, so this is what I'm struggling with right now, and I'd love to see your comments below, and if you like this kind of meandering content about tarot, then don't forget to like and subscribe, because I've got more.